Hey, we're in Clarny at Dubs at the Lake. Dubs at the Lake, this is the third annual Dubs at the Lake show. Um, we've been to three different venues so far in town. This is, I think, probably the best one we've had for location so far. Uh, just more of a scenic, scenic spot. Um, we have got over 60 vehicles here today. Um, from anywhere from Dryden, Ontario, uh, Minnesota, we've got a gang from there, North Dakota, of course here in Manitoba. Love the Lake is all about a bunch of Volkswagen enthusiasts coming to uh, one location just to celebrate the common love of Volkswagens. Everyone brings them here from ones that have to be trailer and haven't been running in 30, 40 years, other ones that uh, just bought at the dealership last week. Oh, there's a few. There's the 49 Bug that's completely restored back to factory original specs. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's a couple split windows that I always get drooled on. And of course the Westies that I always have a spot, soft spot for. I brought my uh, 1968 Beetle out. That's been a project with my father and I for the last uh, six or seven years. And also uh, my 2013 Golf R. Growing up in the business with Dad, uh, probably my fondest memory is always sitting on his lap as a, a 10 year old learning how to drive a stick shift out in the country and just being around them my whole life. It's, uh, it's been pretty cool. Once you get into them, you, you tend to catch the bug and I don't know many guys or girls, people that have got only one. Uh, it tends to, you, you get one and they, they tend to, to find you as well. And um, there's just something about owning owning a Volkswagen, whether it's water cooled or air cooled. I got a 2004 Passat, and that's kind of really what kind of re, re got me going or got me interested again in in Volkswagen. Just thinking about how I can modify this thing. And, and this is my third year out. I've been here since the beginning. It's uh, been an absolute great show. It's always my favorite event of the summer, and uh, I'm happy to be showing off a couple different vehicles this year. And it really, it is our roots, and when the opportunity arose to help sponsor uh, this year and, and attend, we thought, why not? We, uh, we've got a, a 69 Beetle now in the stable again that we purchased off the original owner, and it was nice to bring it out here and show it off. Frank Motors decided to get behind the sponsorship board this year to try and make the show uh, the biggest and best show they've had. So by doing a bit more sponsorship, they're able to uh, increase the days for the show and uh, try and get a few more people out here. Be uh, the first drive my father and I took in my 1968 Beetle when he was teaching me how to drive standard. And also oh, my first Volkswagen was a 1969 Fastback that I paid a whole $25 for. We're going to cruise through Killarney, let all the locals know that uh, we are here in town. Um, after our cruise, we're going to end up at the Shamrock Driving again. Um, because they lost their screen, we want to help them out because they've been such a such an asset to the show each and every year, showing us movies in the evening. Um, we're having a, a supper time show and shine fundraiser at the Shamrock Drive-In, um, and we're opening it up not just to us Volkswagen owners, we're opening it up to uh, absolutely anybody that's got uh, a car they want to show off. And we're fundraising for uh, the Killarney Parent Advisory Council. They're fundraising for a local um, rebuilding project of a school playground. And uh, we, we've got our local Shamrock Drive-In as well. We're, we're raising money for the rebu rebuilding project there, their screen, which we lost in the spring. The glory days. The glory days, yes. Any other...